So welcome everyone. I am Florence Devoir. I am one of the co-organizers of the Africa Environment Initiative, which is happening right now in March. So we have many people around here and uh, we have the, the, the happiness for the team members. We have several people. You can see Ceslos, who is the coordinator of Africa Knowledge Environment. Say hi, Ceslos. Hello, Ceslos. And we also have in the room several members uh, of uh, of the of the project organizer, and we have many of the local organizer. We will be implementing Africa Knowledge Wiki Focus Climate in Africa for the whole of March 2023. So welcome everyone. We also have the luck today to have three interpreters. So this the the presentation will be given in English, but there are three interpretation in French. Uh, Portuguese and Arabic. So do not hesitate to join the rooms. If you need any help to understand how to join the room for translation, please do that. Uh, ask in the chat and somebody will help you. Uh, another important element, we have a slide presentation and it will be shared with you shortly and we will also share the link to the presentation a little bit later in the chat. This session is being recorded. It will not be streamed live. Uh, but we will publish it afterwards on our YouTube channel, the Wiki in Africa channel. Even if for any reason you have to leave early, uh, because it might be a little bit long, be, be reassured that the, uh, the, the record is being made and that we will share it as much as possible. And now I would like to welcome uh, our host, our speaker today. She's uh, Maybe she can... Uh, switch on the, yeah, the microphone. So there's a uh, Sulane Brodsky. She has been a Wikipedian for uh, quite a long time. And I will let her introduce herself and explain why she will today talk to you about how to edit Wikipedia articles about climate change and how what are the best practices to do so. So it's a very important topic for all of us because I remind you that the African environment project is meant to write article on Wikipedia about climate, climate change, and impact of climate change. So please, Sulen, uh, welcome. Please, everyone, welcome Sulen with me. And uh, Sulen, you have the floor now. Thank you so much, Florence. Uh, it's a pleasure to, to be with all of you. Um, so I'm just to introduce myself a little bit. So I've been, as Florence said, um, editing Wikipedia for a long time, not, not as long as Florence, but uh, um, uh, it's really cool to, to uh, be with both her, you know, an old timer and, um, and with some new editors here today. So I'd really like to make this um, and have this be an interactive session. Um, please feel free to ask questions at any time. Um, and, um, you know, I've talked a bit about myself, um, uh, I'll talk a bit about myself, uh, but I'd like to know more about yourselves as well and what you'd like to get out of the session um, and what uh, uh, any any experiences that you've already had with Wikipedia. Uh, I'd like to hear about those, um, any problems or issues that you anticipate having, um, and really what you want to what you want to get out of today. So I'll talk about myself a little bit first. Um, so I've started off in 2006, mostly writing about um, uh, marine biology articles. That was uh, initially my focus. And, um, you know, been uh, coming to Wikipedia on and off. Um, and uh, in the past few years, what I've been really focusing on is climate change, in particular, um, uh, fighting climate change, solutions to climate change, and how do we uh, deal with the climate crisis and at the same time deal with our uh, human growing human need for energy. Um, so a little bit about the lingo of Wikipedia. Um, everybody at Wikipedia, uh, you'll see me talk about when we talk about people, we're all we all talk refer to each other as editors. Okay, we use that term, um, whether you're new, whether you're experienced, everybody is kind of um, uh, uh, equal. Um, in the sense of everybody has um, a say in uh, what Wikipedia articles sh should say. So we all call each other editors and we make decisions by consensus. So I'm not in charge of any article, even though I might have written a lot and um, everybody can you know, make a contribution and everybody's opinion is um, 
uh, is, is at least uh, in theory considered um, considered to be important. Um, so I'd like to know a bit more about you and what you'd like to get out of this. Um, would anybody like to, uh, you know, maybe say what their experience has been so far about Wikipedia or what they'd like to get out of the session? Anyone? Feel free to unmute yourselves. Just to avoid the white page. Uh, yes. People jump in. Uh, yeah. Just jump in and if needed, I will deactivate the microphone afterwards. Just yes. for me, I want to make sure my goal is that no one <clears throat> get blocks or get <laughs> their article deleted. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. We want the, the, the point of this session basically is to have you not only be able to edit Wikipedia, but succeed. Um, and that means having your edit stick. You know, we, we all want to make a difference. And that means that, you know, people accept what, what you've written. Um, and that will make it beneficial for yourselves and for Wikipedia and for climate. Okay, we, we, we want to help you make edits that will that will stick and choose to make choose how to make edits that will stick. So I'll uh, continue. So, um, I, I, I want to. One thing I want to get out of this session is understanding what the review process is, um, why some edits stick and some don't. Um, you know, how come sometimes people get reverted? How come sometimes they make uh, changes that stay for a long time? Um, and we'll do this by stories. <laughs> Sorry, we're getting feedback from someone. Okay, I'll just I'll just continue. So, want to talk a bit about the climate um, editing community. Um, even though Wikipedia is open to anyone to edit, the number of people who actually do edit climate change articles is very small. Okay, um, and we know some people who are experts on some uh, aspect of climate change, but generally, most of us are going to be what I call enthusiastic non-experts. Uh, it's not necessarily our training. Uh, but we're we read, okay. We we just educate ourselves and bring that knowledge to Wikipedia. Um, there's a lot of concern. We often get the question about climate denial on on the on on Wikipedia. What we found is that there is quite a bit of climate denial on uh, non English versions of Wikipedia, especially in the languages which don't have a, a big Wikipedia community. Um, but on the English Wikipedia, which is, uh, I should have introduced myself, that's where I spent uh, basically all of my time, you don't get a lot of outright climate denial. Um, we, we do tend to, tend to uh, you know, pretty much stick to the line that, uh, you know, climate change is human caused, climate change is caused by greenhouse gases and fossil fuels and that kind of thing, and that it's real, and that's a big problem. Um, so climate misinformation is difficult to find in the English Wikipedia. And when we do find climate misinformation, um, and I'll talk in a moment about the different kinds of climate misinformation, um, it can be corrected by one person, okay? So sometimes people think that you need to, you know, uh, organize uh, a bunch of people to correct misinformation on Wikipedia the way that we have to organize on Twitter or we have to organize in um, on on Facebook, uh, but that's not that's not really the case on Wikipedia. It's more about the quality of your arguments and the knowledge that you bring. So while we don't have denialism per se, um, we do have misinformation. So I want to talk about the kind of the five stages of of climate denial uh, that, that do happen. So, so I've said that cli hard climate denialism doesn't happen. What I mean by that is that we don't have people on the English Wikipedia saying that warming isn't happening or humans aren't the cause. Okay, that's not really a big problem. Um, we, in the, in the, there's another stage of climate denial, which is saying that warming isn't harmful. Okay, um, and that's where we do start to see understatement or overstatement. Um, overstatement in terms of uh, like uh, um, uh, it's too late to, or uh, it's it, it, it's it's going to kill us all kind of uh, kind of statement. The oversimplification of the of the harm done by warming. Another thing we often see is that it's framed as a future issue um, instead of 
saying that warming is happening now and the effects of climate change are happening now. Um, where things get really uh, uh, interesting at Wikipedia is the stages of climate denial, which are talking about solutions. Um, so there's a stage of, of climate change denial, which says we can't solve it. It's too expensive to solve it. We're going to all be, uh, 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 it's going to kill the economy to solve it. Um, the, the cure is worse than the disease kind of problem. Um, and the fifth stage of climate denial is it's too late. We're, we're, there's no point trying to solve anything now. And it's at these stages four and five that there is, I'd say, quite a lot of misinformation at Wikipedia. Um, uh, and often that misinformation is in terms of missing information. Um, and that's where we see more of an opportunity. Okay. Any questions so far? I have one question, Sulaine. Please, yes. Do you want to share? The, do you want to share the slides now? Oh my goodness! Have I forgotten to share slides? I have totally forgotten to share slides. Thank you for reminding me. I was thinking that maybe there was some. Oh boy! <laughs> Let me backtrack a whole lot. <laughs> okay, back to the beginning. How did I? <laughs> that's a, that's thank you for reminding me <laughs> okay back to me so you can see my 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 name um, this is this is what i've been working on uh where are we going here okay so he's talking about this these five stages of denial this is uh uh, this is this is a common kind of framework for understanding uh, misinformation about climate change, um, and this is the the stages that people often go through at the levels of denial. Okay, and I'm saying that this uh, there is a tremendous opportunity for education at stages four and five. Okay. Okay, you're all seeing my screen, right? Yes. I yes. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Um, Florence, you did I see your hand up? Did you still have something to say? No, that's the wrong hand up. So I'm going to okay. put it down. Okay, fantastic. So how can we help people understand climate solutions? Um, we can talk about what effective uh, technologies and strategies and policies are. And a, key, a bit of a keyword there is effective. Um, so we want to uh, not talk about every technology under the sun, but also put that into kind of some context because there's a lot of uh, a lot of people talking about a lot of different kinds of solutions. Um, and, and, and some of them are are you know uh, more credible than others. Um, talking about the what we call the co-benefits of climate change mitigation. So when you improve uh, when you reduce greenhouse gas emissions, you also, well, you can reduce greenhouse gas emissions in a way that improves people's quality of life, improves people's health. Uh, so for example, our articles on air pollution need a lot of work. Improve our articles on air pollution, improve people's understanding of the air pollution issue. Um, that is going to help people uh, to understand climate solutions as well and to appreciate climate solutions, okay? So that's, these are all kinds of ways to uh, give people a better understanding of climate change, help our readers understand climate change. Overhyped climate solutions. Um, so for example, um, uh, uh, tree planting is given a lot of uh, 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 promotion as a way to kind of solve climate change. Uh, but we need to, uh, as, as the, what the general public and policymakers need to understand is, you know, tree planting is, you know, often good, um, often not very effective, um, and we can't use it as a way to avoid, you know, uh, getting out of our dependency on fossil fuels. So we need to put things into perspective for people. Um, and talk about things that, per, talk about why we're perpetuating fossil fuel dependencies. So we've got, um, uh, you know, other types of overhyped climate solutions, um, uh, bioenergy, hydrogen, 
really need to kind of understand the policies around, uh, you know, the, the issues around those so that we don't end up just building ourselves into ongoing fossil fuel dependencies. So with the, with the things that we're all trying to do on Wikipedia, um, we bring, we, everybody brings to Wikipedia something different, which is great. Um, and it means that people come with a wide range of views. Um, so like any other environmental organization, you've got people who come in and who may care about climate, care about environment, but we have different opinions on how to go about that. So nuclear energy, for example, we've got different views on, on nuclear energy. So how do we um, make articles work and work together uh, when we've got different kinds of views. So one of the most important, we've got, basically we've got certain norms that help us to collaborate. Um, one of them is agreeing on the purpose of Wikipedia, okay? Um, we agree that Wikipedia is an encyclopedia, um, it's a reference work, it's not a place to push a particular point of view, rather it's a place to educate people about um, about science, um, and in particular, um, help people understand where scientific consensus is. Uh, so in science, there's many ideas that are, you know, being discussed scientifically. Some of them have stronger consensus than others. Some of those ideas have stronger consensus than others. We try to help people understand what's a majority point of view, what's a minority point of view. Another thing that we agree on, um, although I think there's still some, uh, still a lot of work to be done here, uh, but there's broad agreement across the Wikipedia community that we should be use, using reliable secondary sources. Um, and, and actually this is one thing that I, I should mention is, uh, uh, this is where things may be different between different versions of Wikipedia. Um, different uh, different uh, versions of Wikipedia have different, uh, different language versions of Wikipedia uh, are going to have different uh, uh, expectations for sourcing. Um, but in the English Wikipedia, um, we uh, put a lot of emphasis on reliable secondary sourcing. Um, I'm gonna explain in a minute what, uh, what we mean by that. Um, and that really is the key to getting edits to stick. Um, if somebody else is making a claim, they don't have a good source, you can get consensus usually to remove it. And if you put in something that doesn't have a good source, other people can usually get consensus to remove that, okay? So we tend to decide what should be included and what should be excluded based on the quality of sourcing. And whether, of course, it, uh, what you're saying is uh, accurately reflecting the sourcing. So I wanna talk about choosing sources for climate articles um, because that's really the key to getting edits to stick. Um, how do we choose our sources? So ideally, uh, we want um, edits articles to be based on sources that are reliable and secondary, okay? What we're looking for is that there's editorial at a minimum. We want to have some kind of editorial oversight. So being overseen by an editorial board um, and having uh, being a, in a publication that has a reputation for accuracy and for fact checking. Okay, so we don't write articles based on um, tabloids. We don't write articles based on you know things that people said on Facebook somewhere. Okay, we keep a lot of misinformation out of Wikipedia just by having a bar for um, where we get our information from. And we also want our sources to be secondary. So this is a difficult concept, but this is really important. Um, we want it to, to be someone who's not a, a source that's not written by someone who's directly involved in the research or uh, whatever event it is, okay? Um, and we want it to kind of evaluate the, uh, the, the existing research. We want it to, uh, Give it, we want our sources to give an idea of how accepted uh, uh, these, these, these claims are. So great, really top line sources for, for climate articles, um, reports from major scientific organizations. IPCC reports are kind of the gold standard. They're also really difficult to use. Um, other ones uh, in the footnotes here, um, 
World Health Organization is great, Royal Society, uh, International Energy Association, that's one of my favorites because they're so open and, and uh, they actually allow copying uh, now. Um, uh, very recently, they started allowing copying of their content into Wikipedia for the most part. Uh, so those kinds of sources are great. University textbooks, books by academic publishers are also really great. Um, and in scientific articles, we look for what's called review articles. So articles that summarize um, or comment on existing research. I see there's some comments that uh, came in the chat. So I'm just going to quickly uh, scroll through here. OK, so I don't see any questions. That's great. Um, other sources that are not like, you know, best, best, best sources, but that are generally accepted. Um, and uh, is, is going to be topic overviews from from websites that have a really great reputation. I really love Our World in Data. Um, they're, uh, you know, plain language, um, really balanced, uh, really high quality research, and they also happen to allow copying. Uh, same thing with uh, US government websites. Um, so, uh, uh, or government websites, Government websites, if it's if it's a topical review, if it's political, it's 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 kind of hard to say. If, if it's talking about a policy that they're trying to sell you, it's, it, it it might not be so great. But if it's a topical review from a website, it's it's often very good. Uh, BBC has some great topic overviews. Some of the major uh, major news outlets um, as well. Carbon Brief, that's also another great one. Or and talk about some sources that we generally try to avoid. Uh, uh, so activist sources, Greenpeace, um, uh, other, other environmental organizations along those lines, um, generally not widely accepted. Um, it doesn't help people, uh, you know, if people want Greenpeace's opinion, they can go to Greenpeace's website. Um, what Wikipedia go for, um, what Wikipedia is known for is bringing the, uh, kind of more widely accepted information, uh, to the public. Um, and if we source everything to Greenpeace, people just aren't going to believe us. They're going to say, "Okay, well, you're you're just uh, uh, you know you're you're just in the Greenpeace camp, and we don't want to be associated with any particular camp." Um, non books that are written by uh, books that are published under non academic publishers, um, again, that they tend to be uh, not really giving you an indication of how accepted ideas are. Um, and we just don't consider them to be as uh, suitable for, 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 for Wikipedia. They're often right. Uh, it's nothing, no, nobody's saying that all these books are bad. Um, it's just that they're not as uh, useful as um, in terms of being widely accepted. Okay, um, and sources to generally avoid. Um, we generally avoid current events reporting and we generally avoid uh, reporting from single research studies, okay? So Wikipedia is very strange in certain ways. Um, one is, uh, you know, often, uh, you know, people people who have uh, uh, academic backgrounds uh, sometimes have a real culture shock um, uh, uh, getting used to Wikipedia uh, because you've been trained all your life to work with primary sources. You've been, uh, you know, go to the original publication that's about, uh, about research. And you know we really don't we really want to send people to something, uh, or we really want some um, to to use something that's you know kind of better than a textbook. Wikipedia is very strange that way. We really like textbooks if they're you know reputable university level textbooks, and we actually prefer the secondary sources, okay, because they show acceptance. Um, and I just want to say a couple more things on uh, choosing sources. Um, if you wrote a paper, um, involved in writing a paper, um, you, you need to be, there's certain guidelines for being transparent about that. Uh, I want to talk about a bit about paywalled and offline sources uh, and sources that aren't in the language of the Wikipedia. Um, you can use sources that, uh, you know, in the English Wikipedia that are not in English. Um, you can also use sources that are in books and you can use sources that are behind a paywall. That's totally fine. Um, and we generally want to have uh, research being generally uh, being more 
sources being more recently published, such as from the past five years. Okay, so any questions so far on sourcing? Okay. Okay, good question. Um, sources, thank so question came in the chat. Um, we have a challenge here in Rwanda of finding sources for English Wikipedia articles. There is always a message that the articles have insufficient references and deletions. Yep. So what I'm I it, it, creating new articles is um really uh uh it's something that I'm not really covering in this, this session. I'm talking about improving existing articles. Um, when you're when you're creating existing articles, um, you you have to uh, not just have quality sources, but you have to have uh, sources that meet criteria for uh, things like independence of the subject, and you have to have enough of them, and they have to have enough depth. So for supporting an entire new article, yes, it's there's 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 uh, higher standards for that. Um, so that question came from Alice. Um, maybe in our uh, after we get through all of this, if we have time, we can certainly talk about um, you know why articles get deleted and what the processes are for uh, you know deciding whether an article is going to be deleted or not. So that's something I'd like to come back to if we have time. Yep, and. Uh, Florence is saying that sources in Arabic in the French Wikipedia often are not accepted. Um, and yes, people, people, there is often a preference for uh, sourcing in the in the in the um, in the language of you know whatever the Wikipedia is, and people bring their own biases as well. Um, so that's where we've got you know our our policy on sourcing in English is actually written as a as a, as a policy in the English Wikipedia. We say. Okay, sources do not have to be in English. And in the dispute resolution process, that's a policy that you can cite. Um, so I, which I don't know what the what the processes are for dispute resolution very much in the other English, in the other languages. Um, so great, great, great questions. I'm gonna just move on uh, so that we can talk about some examples and putting this into action. So examples of improving climate articles. Um, so I want to tell some success stories about uh, things that people have done to to uh, improve climate articles, and how and these are all stories about edits that have stuck. So this is a story from my experience in Wikipedia, um, and this is just about expanding an article with a citation. So this is the article on kerosene. Okay, so kerosene is um, you know derived from fossil fuels. Um, and it's a it's a climate issue. It's also a big health issue. Okay, in a lot of places where uh, kerosene is used, it's um, it's not it's not really a safe fuel to use indoors. So Wikipedia had an article or has an article on kerosene, and when I looked at it, it was it made kerosene sound really great. Hey, this is useful stuff, and um, it made it sound as if you know as long as you're not drinking it, it's fine. Um, and it did not reflect the newer research, uh, the newer consensus that kerosene smoke, you know, burning kerosene, using kerosene as intended is really bad for you. Okay, and this is kind of well, um, well established uh, facts about kerosene, but they just weren't in the article. So this is a type of kind of misinformation by omission. Okay, you've got an article that's overly positive and you can correct Wikipedia by adding to it. So first step in fixing this kind of problem is choosing a high quality source. Um, when you're talking about health effects, it's really important to choose those high quality secondary sourcing, looking at the made, what the major scientific organizations or international bodies say. Um, there's a World Health Organization report on um, uh, clean cooking and getting getting uh, and the issues around cooking with uh, both wood and cooking with kerosene um, or coal, which are all very common, um, uh, very, very common in Africa. And the World Health Organization has uh, a report about that and, and or multiple reports about that because it's a it's a major international health issue. So there's really great sourcing about it. 
So, um, and this is a report that I happen to have, you know, read through uh, while working on uh, the article on energy poverty and cooking. So uh, what we need to do is summarize the source, uh, the, find a good source, summarize the source in our own words. Um, there's this, so a lot of text um, in the original, in, in the original source, summarize that for Wikipedia. And, you know, this is a, this is a writing exercise. So, and then, um, uh, and then I can start adding it to Wikipedia. Okay, so the steps, if you've uh, you know go through any of its, um, um, oh, this didn't come through on the slide. Uh, steps, if you've uh, gone through any of our basic editing tutorials, you know every section is going to have an edit button. Um, you can click that edit button, add the text, and click the cite button to add a citation to the report. Um, did anyone have a question? I'm just going to take a quick look at the chat. Yeah, I'm sorry that apparently we hid in gray something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. It was otherwise, otherwise you did a um, nice, nice job on the prettification. <laughs> okay. Um, so in, you'll have a cite button, okay, to add a citation to a report, okay? And then when you click the publish changes button, you'll have a chance to explain yourself through an edit summary. So the edit summary is something that we often don't cover a lot in, in training, but it's, so, or and in documentation about Wikipedia, but this is a really, really important step is explaining yourself, explaining why you made the edit. What's in your edit? Why do you think it's a good idea? This is really your chance to sell your change to other people, okay? Um, and it doesn't have to be long, but you should you should say what it is. Um, so I just wrote in here the World Health Organization recommendations. People at Wikipedia, uh, in the English Wikipedia anyway, really like the World Health Organization publications. So if the World Health Organization has something to say about it, to say about any issue, um, usually we want to include it. Now, I want to talk a bit about um, what we've done so far. Um, so the steps here, back to, you know, noticing a problem, um, choosing a source, summarizing the source, writing it up, that is a really long amount, that is a lot of work to do that. Um, you're going to, and actually putting it into Wikipedia is quick, okay? Once you've done that, finding the source, once you've done that writing, that planning, that, you know, making sure that you're avoiding copyright violation. Um, so just want to really set the expectation that the number of edits that you make to Wikipedia can be small. Um, you know, the amount of text that you add to Wikipedia can be small, um, and a lot of work goes into it, you know? And that's just kind of how it is, you know, if you're, if you're updating climate articles. Um, we ex just expect that a lot of research is going to go into every change that you make. Um, as you know, sometimes with edit-a-thons, you know, people really want to just dive in and, and, and change stuff. And, you know, we, 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 we have our metrics that say, okay, I've, we, people did 100 edits, so that's better than making 50 edits. And it's like, well, not always. Sometimes, you know, things are slower, and those are often the most important edits. It's the ones that take a lot of time and have a lot of reading behind them. So lots of reading, small amount of work. And then let's talk about the review process. Who's going to notice this, this change? And what usually happens with is that there's a lot of noticing of the change. And this is really invisible to you, uh, but it, it happens. So first thing that happens, um, wouldn't worry about it too much. It's just people and bots checking it for vandalism. OK, is this total crap? Uh, and if it is, it'll get reverted very quickly, usually. Second group of people is who your main audience really is. Um, because every, well, not every article, but most articles are going to be what's called watched by somebody. People are going to have their article on their watch list. People are going to be checking for changes to the article. And they're going to check their watch list, check for changes to articles every, usually every few days, sometimes every day. 
Okay, this is the audience that you're mostly going to be working with. Okay. These are your reviewers. So watch lists are a really, really important part of collaborating with Wikipedia. If you're logged in with your account, you can watch a page, click that add to watch list button that's the star up here. And then when you click that watch list icon later on, you can see recent changes to all the pages that you're watching. Okay, um, so your watch list article, this is kind of a screenshot of uh, a watch list, uh, you know, when you've got several articles that are added to the watch list, it will show you the recent changes to them. And if I click this link that says, uh, oh, okay, something moved over here, um, that says diff, um, over, sorry, the, that, that, uh, 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 that, that, red oval should be should be over here um you'll see exactly what changed what was be where before and what was after okay and this really is how we review every change to wikipedia or we can review every change to wikipedia we look at the difference between two versions of the article so that's how the review process works okay it's other volunteers like ourselves looking at what has changed um, and by who um, so how do you know if your edit has been accepted? Most importantly, add your page to the watch list, check your watch list over the next few days. And usually if you make a good edit, if it's accepted, nothing will happen, okay? Wikipedia is not good at giving positive feedback. That's kind of a known issue in, our, in how we are at Wikipedia, what our culture is at Wikipedia. If you do something great, the... It, it just you get a whole bunch of silence. That's just what happens. Um, occasionally, you might see your edit has been reverted, and we'll talk about this in a few minutes. So I want to talk about another example. Okay, so that was an example of adding what we just saw was adding, you know, content to Wikipedia, choosing a good source, explaining ourselves, it was accepted. Let's look at another example. Uh, so this was an example about uh, the impact of climate change being understated. Uh, this is the article on the uh, heat wave, article called Heat Wave. And it really taught, it indicated that uh, uh, climate change is going to happen in the future. Um, you know, there's uh, future heat waves will be more intense. Okay. And th when this, when you see something like this in an article, it's not necessarily because somebody's you know, really trying to deny climate change. It's more often because this is what, you know, this was just written a long time ago from a really old source. And the solution to that is um, replacing the text with, um, you know, summarize a newer source. So look at what's old and update it, replace it with newer information, okay? So this was uh, written by an editor called Femke. Um, she, uh, uh, updated it with a newer source, which is, uh, you know, the latest IPCC report, you know, saying instead of heat waves will become more frequent, she says they have already become more frequent. Um, and her edit summary, you can see how much detail there is in the, in the um, edit summary. She's talking about what the problem is. She's talking about what, uh, what she's done to change it and, you know, use that edit summary to sell that edit. And again, this is a major change, but it's stuck. And you don't have to really argue about it, right? You just, you just do it. We just be bold, explain ourselves, make a high quality edit. Now, what if you're not feeling that bold, okay? Uh, so here's where we get into talk pages, okay? If you're less certain that what you're, you're doing is going to be accepted or if you're not sure, you can propose changes on the talk page, okay? Um, be specific. Um, wait for feedback. Sometimes it takes a few days. So the people who are going to be responding on a talk page are going to be um, the same people who have their articles on the watch list. You know, it's going to be people who have some kind of interest in the article. And if you don't see any objections, go ahead and implement the edit. You know, give it a couple days, maybe a week. But usually, silence is a form of consensus. If nobody, if nobody says that's a bad idea, you can kind of assume it's okay. Um, at least to, or at least to try it, you know, um, and so that's a way of kind of getting more confident uh, that you're uh, going in a direction that will be accepted. 
Okay, I want to look at another example, um, a quick example um, of the kind of misinformation that we get in Wikipedia. Uh, so this is an article called Carbon Neutral, F Neutral Fuel. Um, uh, this was uh, saying that you can build carbon, uh, carbon capture and storage into cars, um, which is just doesn't, does not never going to work. Um, and that's, you know, one of the ways that uh, uh, people can justify using, can, you know, continuing to build and, and, and manufacture uh, cars that, uh, that, that use gasoline. So carbon capture in, in, in is, is it carbon, the idea of carbon capture for cars uh, is uh, uh, really basically a type of misinformation. Um, if you position it as an accepted idea, um, it's, you know, it's true that it's been explored. So again, looking at the sourcing, okay, this is an unfeasible idea and it's based, it's based on a, what's a reliable source, but it's not a reliable secondary source, okay? This was just an exploration, exploratory idea once that someone did some research on and published it. So it's not bad to do that research, but it's a primary source. It doesn't show acceptance. And when you have a primary source, it's fairly easy to, uh, fairly easy to, I'm sorry, to, uh, it's fairly easy to remove it. Um, uh, so I think, uh, I think, uh, and uh, I think, um, Lawrence, in the prettification, someone also lost the edit summary that I wrote here. Um, but I removed this. I'm this is... sorry, so late. <laughs> it's okay. Um, that before we publish it then. <laughs> so the edit summary for this was, I, I found basically a publication that kind of explained why this is a terrible idea, why this doesn't work, why this idea doesn't work. And I put a link to that article in my edit summary. Okay, so you can remove um, erroneous information from Wikipedia if you use a good edit summary, if you, ex if you can explain why it's wrong. Okay. So I'm just going to skip over this for, for time. Um, I'm sure everybody wants to know what, what, what if you're reverted. So unfortunately, being reverted is something that happens eventually to everybody on Wikipedia. Um, it, on average, doesn't happen very much, but it is more likely to happen if you're new. OK, unfortunately, people who are new to Wikipedia, their edits tend to get scrutinized more and they also tend to make more mistakes. Um, so if you revert it, it's, uh, you know, it's it's an, it's it feels crappy, but it's not the end of the world and it's not even the end of that edit. Um, so what you can do is you can find out why. OK, so looking at the article's history tab look for an edit summary that will explain why. Okay, this is why going back to your article, using your watch list, looking at the history will help you understand what's going on. If you understand why you were reverted, maybe you can re-edit the article in a way that addresses the reason, okay? Sometimes you don't understand the explanation, okay? And you can ask on the talk page, okay? and then work towards consensus on the talk page, okay? And if you're having issues at this point, um, that's when it's time to involve, um, you know, whoever your Wikipedia mentor is, um, uh, you know, try to get consensus on the talk page, but if you're really uh, feeling stuck there, um, you can certainly pull in some help uh, from within the Wikipedia community. Some do's and don'ts when you're reverted. Don't just redo your change unless you understand why. Um, don't recruit other people to redo your change. Really common mistake we, we see is um, people are reverted on Wikipedia and go to Twitter and people come to, a whole bunch of new people come in from Twitter and say, well, I, uh, uh, you guys messed up here. Um, we consider that kind of really bad form. What we want people to do is work towards consensus within Wikipedia. And there's ways of doing that. We want people to communicate on Wikipedia for transparency, okay? We don't want people going off to, off to Twitter to do that. Um, uh, we, we want to know what, what the arguments are. And uh, this there's some trust involved here. Uh, we, we, we want people to trust that the process works. Basically the idea, ask for more editor involvement, post a message at the talk page of uh, Wikiproject Climate Change, 
email others to ask or invite for advice not to organize voting. So if you're feeling stuck, feel free to, to email me or, um, you know, uh, uh, you know, your other Wikipedia, um, uh, local Wikipedia experts, and don't post to social media. Uh, I see uh, Ngozi, uh, sorry if I mispronounced your name, you have your hand up. Uh, did you have a question? Yes, please. Um, good evening, everyone. I have a question. Although it's not about, it is not on reverting an article. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I have been having problems trying to link articles, to mm -hmm. link the work I'm doing with existing works. So please, I don't know if at the end you will be able to talk to us about it. Um, you're having trouble linking articles. So uh, making a link, for just making a link from one article to another so that the so that when, when somebody clicks on a word. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Um, yeah. At the, at the end, let's do some screen sharing, and uh, I'll 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 try to talk you through that. Yeah. Yeah. Let's 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 uh, let's uh, please remind me to to come back to that. Okay. See, so I'm just going to write myself Maybe a note. There is also a question from KK Media mm -hmm. in the chat, which is mm -hmm. all the reasons why Wikipedia doesn't give positive feedback. Ah. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm interested in seeing that. Yeah, cool. Very cool. Okay. <laughs> um, oh, okay. I see. It's not a, it's not a list of reasons. Are there reasons Wikipedia doesn't give feed positive feedback? Um, you know, I think often it's uh it's because we don't know enough about the topic um to know whether what somebody added is 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 good or not um so often you know the the people who are watching articles aren't really sure whether what you put in is totally good um that's that's part of it um another part of it is just our it's it's just habit um we don't have um uh yeah we've we've just never kind of gone down that path of patting ourselves pat, patting each other in the back a lot it and it's sad it's, it's it's a cultural thing you know and i think um you know and that's you know also when everyone's power to change you know that's you know, if you're working together with um um, you know, if you see something that somebody does that's good and you can go to their talk page and say, hey, I really loved what you did there. You can change the culture. You can you can make Wikipedia a more friendly place. Yeah. That's, I think that's a great question. Uh, thoughts on getting started with easier topics. Um, so climate change is not a super, super difficult uh, area to edit in, um, but it is, you know, it, you are talking about science articles. Um, so a few thoughts on that. It's going to be um, uh, editing existing articles is going to be easier and more fun than starting new ones. Uh, I see we've gotten some questions about, uh, you know, getting new articles accepted is difficult, and it is difficult. It is, eas it is easier to write, a, a, to, to contribute to an existing article. Okay. Um, I think that the deletion rate for new articles is much, much higher than the reversion rate for editing to existing articles. Would really encourage you to, to edit lower quality articles, okay? So an, if an article has featured article status, um, including the main climate change article, it's gonna be much, much more difficult to change that. It's gonna be harder to find a problem in it that you can solve. It's gonna be harder to get edits accepted. Uh, biographies of living people really tricky, um, especially controversial living people. Our sourcing requirements are very high and they're enforced quite strictly, okay? Um, and really avoid editing a biography of somebody that you know, okay? Almost nobody can do that well. Uncontroversial edits that you can uh, get started with, edited uh, participants uh, can like. Um, updating old statistics is really great. Um, we have a whole lot of stuff in Wikipedia that's just old. Um, 
using higher quality citations. We have got a lot of citations to stuff that's just really kind of uh, just not, not great, you know, news articles, uh, activist blogs, that kind of thing. Adding page numbers to citations. We love that. Okay. Um, adding images. Let me just make sure that they're compatible with, uh, uh, with Wikipedia's licensing policy and translating. Okay. okay. If you see an article that's good and you can recognize it as being good, please uh, do translate it. Okay. Uh, a few newbie mistakes I want to talk to. Um, don't put the name of an organization in your username. Um, English Wikipedia, uh, that seems, tends to be seen as a flag that you're, uh, we're, we are so picky <laughs> about usernames when it comes to, to, uh, to, to organizations. It's just kind of not, not worth the trouble. Um, I would say don't add links to other websites unless they're part of a, a citation and a really high quality citation. We're very sensitive to people promoting uh, trying to promote their website or trying to just drive traffic to uh, to, to, to some place. And don't try to make large numbers of edits. You know, focus on quality, focus on really bringing uh, good information to Wikipedia and explaining it in a way that will stick. Uh, so I've got a few slides on technical tips for citations, but um, I think I want to uh, leave more time um, and just have these be in in reference and we can come back to them later. Um, as I wanna uh, go on to questions, so there's, cause there's so many great questions. So for ongoing, ongoing learning and engagement, I think one of the best ways to learn more about Wikipedia is just to watch articles, just to read how other people are changing articles, um, read what kind of justifications they're using. Um, uh, and also, you know, sometimes you'll see something coming across in a watch list that's vandalism, or you'll see something going on in a watch list where it doesn't make things better, it makes things worse. And that's how you kind of get a sense of what a good edit is. Okay? Um, watch list wiki project climate change. There's also often a lot of really great discussion going on there. Um, if you're involved in other organizations, especially organizations that uh, produce content that would be a reliable source or good photographs for use under Wikipedia, um, having them uh, release that content under a Wikipedia compatible um, free license is really helpful to Wikipedia. Um, and if you want to get some help, I'm just going to offer a couple of places. Um, one is feel free to contact me. Um, and a great place for technical general Wikipedia or general Wikipedia questions is what's called the Wikipedia Tea House, okay? Um, um, and uh, uh, you, you've probably been directed to that, but that's really the go-to place for, for anything about how do I, or you know what happened with my article here? Why was my article deleted? That kind of thing. Um, they're, they're, they have a really quick response time and they, they, they just know a lot. And they have a no biting policy, so they, they, will, they will not yell at you. Okay, so um, I'm gonna just turn this over. I'm gonna stop screen sharing now so I can see all of your faces. And um, let me, let's have some discussion about our experience with editing Wikipedia. Um, and uh, actually I'm gonna start by, um, uh, maybe while you're thinking about it, I'm just gonna take a look through some of the chat questions and try to get back to some of the questions that I've, that I've skipped over. I'm just gonna take a minute to just catch up on the chat. It's really lovely to have uh, so many questions come in on chat. Ah, Florence mentioned African Union, good source, okay. Someone's saying that secondary sources are not necessarily neutral. That's that's absolutely true. And that's when we use a variety of secondary sources and try to, um, you know, when when it's when when an issue is second what is a uh, uh, controversial, um, often the secondary sources will disagree with each other. Absolutely.
Does anyone want to jump in to ask any question or request for clarification? My, my, my big, big concern um, uh -huh. is that, yeah, as I was saying, there are so many missing articles. Uh -huh. so it uh -huh. would be complicated to actually improve something that doesn't exist yet. So I did a big table on the English wiki yes. to look at all the, the really existing article on climate in a certain weather. And among mm -hmm. all the African countries, there's only three of them that actually exist. Mm -hmm. There are usually paragraph about climate in the main article. Please, about if everybody is doing And uh, I don't know, yeah, actually, the sun. and there are sometimes an article about the geography of the, of the country. And then there would be a paragraph about climate in the mm -hmm. geography of the country. But there would mm -hmm. be in most cases, no article about climate. And there are a few about climate change, but mm -hmm. not so many of them. So in most mm -hmm. cases, when they want to write about these topics, they will have to start by creating. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That will be, that will be mm -hmm. a, a tricky, tricky time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, especially in the English Wikipedia, because creating articles is uh, is so full of pitfalls. Um, so I wasn't uh, planning to talk about creating articles. I, I'm just going to see if I can find you some good resources uh, to start with about creating articles. Or I mean, what what do, what do it, you know? There's so many organizers here. It's really great. What what do you think your people will want to write about? Is it going to be uh, you know, is it going to be the existing topics? Is it going to be uh, writing about, you know, writing about climate by geography? Is it going to be, you know, are people interested in other access, other issues such as um, uh, access to electricity, access to um, access to uh, clean cooking facilities? I, I noticed electric vehicles came up. Um, so what kinds of topics uh, do you want to write about? What 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 interests will, will people have? And, and goes, yes, I'll come right back to talking about linking. Yes. Yes, I will I will do that. Yeah. So who wants to um to tell to explain what they want to write about? In the team, I see, for example, uh, there's Justine, there's Minette, Alice. Uh, Michael, what what are your plans? Hello. Hello. Yes. Who's Hello. That? Yes. Yes. Okay. And who's that talking? Yes. Um. I was saying in Zimbabwe, I was actually looking at the articles about climate and everything. There is no like specific article about climate in Zimbabwe. I was seeing articles uh, like saying climate in Nigeria, climate in so and so country, but in Zimbabwe specifically, that's one article that we thought we can start like looking at what other countries have done. And we try to at least provide that particular information, like looking at the subheadings and also the editing part and the translation part. That's what we thought we we're going to do. Okay, so you want to write about climate in Zimbabwe. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Yeah. Anyone else? Okay, so we don't have a Climate in Zimbabwe article. I'm just going to go just take a look at what Wikipedia has. Um, hi. Mm -hmm. Yes. Can you hear me? Yes, yes. Uh, hi, yeah, my name is Muti from Malawi. Um, and where we're starting from, um, it's what uh, Flo has shared. Uh, it's from scratch. Mm -hmm. um, so what we're doing mm -hmm. right now is uh, we're knocking on doors uh, in the Minister of Climate Change uh, and a few mm. other 
um, mm -hmm. um, agencies around the environment, mm -hmm. um, and just really just trying to trying to uh, find out what's there. There's so little; it's, it's such an embarrassing. Um, Okay. So you're not sure where to start, but you'd like to do something related we, to Malawi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so, right? so, so, yeah, so, so something, something in general in Malawi, but um, okay. like, like in most cases, uh, so uh, like looking at, we, we tend to look at South Africa as a sort of big brother okay. and just because, you know, to see what, what they're doing down there and just kind of uh, try and buy it from that. But we are starting from scratch. I mean, there's so little. Um, and then even yeah. uh, you're just talking to the guys that the climate, uh, the guys who are in charge of climate change, uh, you know, trying to find some data on it. Um, it, <laughs> it seems like even they are a bit in the dark. That, like this, mm -hmm. they, they have to sort mm -hmm. of hunt, hunt around as well. Like, oh, where do we start from? Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. really, it's mm -hmm. just starting from scratch and starting uh, with uh, hopefully trying to create a, a general article on climate on Malawi uh, with whatever we can find. So that's where we are at, at the moment. Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 Thank you for sharing that. Okay. Okay. So uh, what I've heard so far from people in terms of what we'd like to cover and to kind of do some problem solving together. Um, so one is, um, we've got a technical question on links, a question on uh, why articles on um, uh, why articles kept uh, being deleted for lack of references. Those, those are questions that came up in the chat. Um, people interested in creating a new article on, for example, climate in Zimbabwe, and people just looking for like, okay, what what can I do uh, that you know related to a, a particular country has something to do with climate in that particular country? Maybe starting a climate in uh, climate in, in 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 a particular country article. So I'm going to try to cover all of those things. Um, let me just kind of work out some screen sharing issues. Okay. Um, Uh, Francis, while mm -hmm. she's looking for the sources, uh, please make sure to look on the African Environment Portal. There is a space called Resources where we have already uh, collected quite a few resources that you can, change, you can check. Be careful that we have not reviewed these sources. So some, some sources might not be okay but some of them are completely um, trustworthy. Uh, there's, there's some wood, there's some uh, WIPO, there's some um, African Union resources that you can start using uh, from the start. And if you run into interesting resources that you want to share with others, and that can be useful for all countries, please, by all means, also share your resources in that space. Share it with others so that they they uh, realize that they can use that stuff as well. Can we have the link? Yes, I can share it again. Hold on. So this is the link to the resources precisely. So as you can see, there are mostly currently some in French and some in English. Again, we have not reviewed all of them. So some, uh, yeah, if anyone wants to <laughs> also dig into this and make improvement to that page, so it's a little bit more sorted, it would be great. Right now it's a bunch of things. Uh, also keep in mind that in the 
place um, Sulaine uh, shared with us, and I'm going to grab you the link as well. Uh, there's a, a wiki project on Wikipedia called the Wiki Project Climate Change. And over there, you can also find some very interesting resources. And one point I invite you to do in particular, if you work on local languages, is to also start a wiki project climate or a wiki project climate change in your local language. And you can look at what the English speaking people have done and do your own things just uh, with the inspiration. And this way in, uh, I don't know, I, I know some of you plan to work in Swahili. Uh, I don't remember the whole list, but there's at least eight languages being mentioned, I think. Um, you could do wiki project climate in all of these eight languages. And over there, you can coordinate yourself. You can store resources. You can discuss what you're going to work on as a priority. Mm -hmm. And um... okay, um, so I'd like to. Uh, sorry, I was just kind of getting set up to to do some screen sharing here. Uh, so I'm going to just. Uh, thank you, Florence. I'm just going to share my screen if I can get this to work, and I'm just going to show you talk it through making a link. So you're seeing uh, the Climate Change in Ar Canada article on screen share. Okay, you're seeing it now. Um, so I'm just going to say, for example, say I wanted fossil fuels, uh, the word fossil fuels to be linked to the article on fossil fuels. I'm gonna click that, uh, sorry, select that text. Um, click the edit button up here. What? I have never seen this before. Let me try again. Okay. Um, okay, so click through that error message and it uh, uh, seems okay. So this is an editing mode and you can see that I've got uh, this toolbar up here. So this is the button for inserting a link. So I've got some text selected. I'm gonna click this uh, add link button and it's gonna give me some options. Um, so I want it to link to this main article on fossil fuels. Okay, so I'm gonna uh, click that and that's it. I just can, I can just click away. I'm gonna go and click my publish changes button and say plus add wiki link. So that's my edit summary, just explaining to people uh, that I've added a wiki link. And I'll say that this is a minor edit, just so that people don't, uh, uh, it's, it's optional to choose that, but it just uh, helps people to, to see that I've done something that's that's small. Did that, um, Answer your question. Um, yes, to a certain extent. So, um, extent. Okay. Yes. Uh, I I still have a yes. I still have a little problem. What yes. article am I linking? Is it the reference I used to cite the article or other related articles online? It's the it's the Wikipedia article on fossil fuels. So um, that's so where I where I when I click so I just added a link to to fossil fuels and it's going to take me to the Wikipedia article on fossil fuel. Is that is that your goal or are you trying... Wikipedia articles? Yeah, is that your goal? Is that what you were trying to do, or were you trying to do something else? Yes, we well we highlighted the item we wanted to link. Mm -hmm. We clicked on the link icon, but when the articles came out, mm -hmm. we, we, were, we were not sure what to do again, whether to link to the article we used to reference it or to the Wikipedia articles 
uh, that I peered. So from there, we went out and we, um, I don't know how we entered another field that said, put the, put the keywords you want to link. And then we put the keywords and it took us to a very different uh, location. So we have to abort the whole exercise. Uh, what, so what article um, was this in? What article? Maybe if I can it bring was it on um, um, group. Uh, let me let me remember. It's on grooming girls for marriage. There is a writing contest. I and my group here mm -hmm. are doing mm -hmm. on female genital mutilation. So we are looking at um. Grooming okay. young girls for marriage. There was a word we used for it. I can't remember. Grooming, G R O O W O M. G R W. Yes. yes, grooming. Was that the name of the article Zero you were trying to write? And then M. Yeah. So, so, so you were in the article on grooming. No, there was no article. So we created the article. We created, created a new, yes, a new article. And then that okay. was yesterday. And then uh, somebody uh, wrote on it, maybe people watching or people checking. Yeah. They wrote on it that this article is an orphan. Can somebody link it to other ah, articles? Ah, okay. This article is an orphan. Okay. <laughs> so we are trying to link it, yes. Oh, okay, so, so you're trying to get other articles to link to it. Okay. What, yes, so and we couldn't get yes. Yes, okay. So so you're you, so adding a link technically is easy, but it's it's about finding a article that would be appropriate yes. to link to it. Yeah. What articles might be appropriate to link to it? I can't get the question. Uh okay, so the article is about grooming. Yes. Okay. Um, do you have a do you have the title of the article? Do you have the exact title? It's or is that my friend that, that did it? I was just helping her to to link right. it. I can't okay. remember why. It's, I can't remember. Mm -hmm. I can't maybe, remember it now. Maybe we yeah. will, we will have to discuss that offline because otherwise we'll yeah. to, uh, too long into the discussion for everyone. Yeah, uh, I think so. so. Yeah. yeah. So let's let's see that afterwards. You can drop us the, the link to the article and then we we can look at that. Okay. Yes. We we'll, okay. we'll, 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 I'll I'll be happy to look at it and might be able to brainstorm some, it's some frequent, ideas. It's also a frequent issue in particular for newcomers to create articles and not linking them. And yes, that creates orphan articles. And it's important to have uh to, to remember that Wikipedia is not, article or not, lone island. They are all part mm -hmm. of a bigger, bigger thing. Mm -hmm. You don't need mm -hmm. to, have to have to explain everything in an article when it's explained somewhere else. So you mm -hmm. need to always think of linking articles to one another. Mm -hmm. so can, mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Okay, please, can I have your email address so that I can drop it when I get it? Is um, it email address or I drop it at the Telegram group? Um, let's see. Yeah, drop it in the in the Telegram group. Uh, you joined the Telegram. Telegram. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, you know what I'm going. Drop me a message. Uh, I'm putting my email address and and I will uh, forward the thing. Okay. 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 Uh, is Great ideas. Thank you for us. <laughs> any other questions from uh, or comments from the everyone before we uh, finish today? Um, I'm just going to take a look at. Um, I I wanted to answer the question uh, about you know ideas for how to cover Malawi, um, ideas of what to write about for Malawi. I, you know, writing a climate article of um, for Malawi is uh, it, it, it's one indicator. It, it's one uh, one possibility. I'm just going to see if there's maybe something that's maybe a bit easier. I'm just looking to see what. Just looking through some sources here. 
Um, whilst you are looking, let me share one information with the mm -hmm. group. Uh, apparently, <laughs> there was a hack of the general uh, Africa environment telegram channel yesterday. So the channel is gone. I don't know if Seslos has good news. Maybe if they managed to restore it. But so far, it just disappeared entirely. So yesterday night, I recreated a new Telegram channel for African environment. So it's brand new. I just shared the link in the discussion channel. Uh, join it. It's brand new, unfortunately, and and hopefully Seslaus will manage to re to regain access to the general one we had before. Seslaus, do you have any news on this? Uh, not yet. I just um, reported the, the 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 group and then sent an email to their support email. Okay. So I don't know, but in the meanwhile, you can you can join the one I created, and I put uh, plenty of privacy, blah blah, and. Uh, second third checking <laughs> hopefully this will this will survive mm -hmm. i'm really sorry about that so um yeah it looks as if you, you, what, what um so building what florence florence said earlier a lot of articles on important things like you know say climate of zimbabwe or climate of malawi are not uh, Wikipedia doesn't have an article on them. So we are, you know, I think uh, probably getting some training about how to create new articles, um, how to um, how to demonstrate notability, um, uh, you know, according to the standards of the English Wikipedia. Um, I would really encourage you to, to get further training on that. Um, it's, um, and uh, but the, the, the issue with English Wikipedia is that there are different routes to creating articles. Um, very briefly, there's what's called the articles for creation route. Um, and then there's just creating an article directly. Um, the, what, what we would generally recommend uh, in most cases is to create an article directly. Um, and for that, you need to have uh, kind of uh, enough experience on your account to do that. Um, so, uh, Florence, have you uh, gone over with people things like getting event coordinator permissions and, you know, giving people permission to, to create articles or how, how, what do you think, what is your thinking so far about how to, how to go about creating articles? Um, I, I haven't given them any training. I'm, I'm, mm -hmm. I think half of the groups have mm -hmm. enough knowledge, mm -hmm. have basic knowledge of that, and they should help. And probably the other groups don't. What I asked to do is uh, for Clementine to help them create dashboard. And I was mm -hmm. thinking as the process of the dashboard creation, they could see as well the, for the account creation problem. But mm -hmm. uh, otherwise, none of I don't think any of them have uh, account uh, special um, functionary role such as uh, such as allowing them to create accounts okay so um in in the english wikipedia you can uh go to the request for permissions uh notice board and you can just say okay i'm i'm go i i, I would like to uh uh be able to you know, have I'm going to be running an editathon um, in in my community, and I want to be able to give people uh, the ability to create new articles. Um, they will, you know, if you are an experienced Wikipedia editor, if you've got a good track record, they will generally give you what's called event coordinator permissions, um, and that will let you give other people the ability to create new articles. Or um, you can also have people create new articles in their sandboxes and then just uh, move them, um, move them yourselves. Uh, or we could, you know, creating actually having, yeah. Uh, the English Wikipedia does make it hard <laughs> to create new articles. It's 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 a bit bureaucratic. What, what might be easiest then is for people to create, um, just create a, you know. Say a climate of Zimbabwe article in uh, in, in in a sandbox, 
um, and then have someone, you know, a, a, an experienced editor, uh, you know, make that go live after after it's been worked on for a while. Florence, would, do you think that would work for people? Sorry, I didn't hear the last few words. What? Um, so have people work in sandboxes, and then the 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 person who's running the editathon can can move the article to main space. Well, in any cases, I think it's always the best idea on the English Wikipedia to start in the draft space. Yes. Always, yes. always, always. And if they work uh -huh. together on an article uh -huh. such as, I don't know, climate, uh, climate of Zimbabwe, yes. uh, then they can have one draft space and everybody edit in this draft space. Uh -huh. um, and generally uh -huh. speaking, it's always a good, uh, better idea because at least they don't uh, face uh <laughs> savage deletion mm -hmm. uh, in the middle of writing mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. best to start in the draft box yeah it is it is it I, I absolutely agree it's best to start in the draft box it's 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 just a question of what to do um what to do later um so that's would it be um uh would it be a good use of our time today for me to try to demonstrate what it means to start an article in in, in a draft box yeah it would be a good idea i think it would yeah. be yeah. Okay. Um, and uh, so I haven't done that lately. Um, actually, Art Florence, are you set up to, to demonstrate that? How to start an article in draft space? Would you be able to, to demonstrate that? Because I haven't done that lately. And we super shortly. The problem is that <clears throat> you're going to laugh. On this computer, I'm not logged in and I can't uh -huh. remember my password. <laughs> uh, you know, you can start a draft even if you're not logged in. I can't, I can't sign in. So is there anyone here that would that would know how to create an article in the draft space and that would be willing to show others? Let me see if I can try it. Huh? Or, or if anyone else can, yep. The more experimented people. We need a volunteer. And then we will end up on that because it's already uh, getting late. Okay. Yes. Uh, sorry, I, I was, uh, but unfortunately, I don't have a, a laptop on my. Sishe? I have a question. Yes, sorry, I, I'm using my phone actually. I could have tried to share, mm -hmm. but I have a question. Uh, did I hear you right when you were saying the draft? We can actually create a draft, and then everyone else, the participants, can be editing on that one draft. Did I hear yes. you? Yes, uh... oh, sure, they can. That's right. I... I do that when I when I work with uh, the WIPO staff people. Uh, mm -hmm. They're usually scared by editing the main space. They they, mm -hmm. they never want to do that. So mm -hmm. often I, mm -hmm. I create the draft in uh, their draft space, and mm -hmm. we have all together editing it, and that's fine. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think I I would love to know how to do that because I I think I'm not sure how. Uh, you can help me do that. I think that's that's the best way so that we don't get deleted. Uh, our articles don't get deleted. I think that would be best. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. Sulen, do uh, do are you able to uh, demo now? Um. Yeah. Okay. It seems we have no victim who agreed to do that for us. Come on. No one. <laughs> this is that's yeah, uncool. Help us now. Yeah. <laughs> Seslaus, my dear, you know how to do that, right? Mickey, I, I'm, 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 tr I'm trying to get. Okay, I can get to. Uh, so, so where do we start to create it to create to get to the article to get to draft space? Like, um, Florence, can you just talk me through it? I can't remember how to get there from the main uh, space, main they, page. They, I've got my own shortcuts. They, they changed the interface, so it's really uncool. Oh wait, yeah, maybe, maybe yeah. Cool. they they keep hiding the options to, to to create new articles. Wait, wait, I found my login. Oh, okay, you're gonna show us, please. Yeah. <laughs> Briefly, and then we will on that. While, while Florence is setting this up, I, 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 I'd like to talk a bit about how to have articles not be deleted when you when you uh, send articles to main space. Um, main reasons that articles get deleted: number one is um, probably the number number one cause of, of writing an article that gets deleted is if you if it, if you're writing about a person who you know or an organization that you're uh, that you're involved in. Um, 
most almost nobody can successfully write an article about somebody that they know um, or or a group that you belong to. It almost always comes across as um, inappropriate for Wikipedia to, and and it, it just tends to get deleted. Um, if it's somebody you don't know um, and someone that you uh, 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 if, if it's an article if it's an article like Climate of Zimbabwe, um, usually it's uh, I, I don't think to be honest that any articles about you know that start with climate of are going to be climate of a country are going to get deleted but I could be wrong <laughs> the main thing is to have aim for at least three different types three different sources okay so three different publications and source them and um you know say tr say three true things from three different sources and you should be okay in terms of deletion um usually what usually when you have um uh, usually articles that get deleted are biographies or articles about companies and usually they are um when there's not enough sourcing there's uh you, you need at least three that three sources two or three but usually three um they have to be uh not that person's own website not their employer's website um not just an interview with the person um they have to be what's called independent of the subject um they have to, and they have to be a, a a reliable source so having editorial oversight usually that's what's going on um and there's a lot of articles that are about you know subjects you know topics that are good enough but uh, but get deleted anyway um through various processes and we can you know if you want to provide the names of that we can we can look at those on a case by case basis and and uh, uh resolve those issues over to Florence. Florence, we see I, would, I yeah. would love to be as optimistic as you, but I just saw James coming in. So it's the perfect timing. So I will be able to show you something. So <laughs> to see where your draft is, it's very simple. Yes. In the new interface, you mm -hmm. have to log in. When you're yeah. logged in, you click on yeah. your little uh, figure persona thing. Yeah. And here you have second line sandbox. Yeah. Right. That's a beautiful place. Everyone can see it. It's yes. Your space, but it's in your space. So in my space, I have a lot of mess. Uh, yes. I actually list things on my my thing here. But let me give you an example. I have um, I don't know. Uh, I probably have a sub page somewhere. Oh, here. So here I, I do another one because my my current mess is so big that I create more links. So here I have my my attempt to do some tables, for example. This is my thing. Everybody can see it. It's public. You can see that and you can also participate to it. In this case, it's only me, but you can do it. And so the right place to have access to this, I repeat, is you go to your little persona here. You go to sandbox. This is your stuff. You do whatever you want with it. All right. And now let me show you something. What happens when you try? Can I ask, a, can yes? I ask a question, please? Yes. Okay. This is sandbox. It's written sandbox now, but initially it was written draft. Yeah. So le let me show you. So this is a perfect example that happened just yesterday. James was writing an article uh mm -hmm. in the main space mm -hmm. and it was removed somebody added a big banner to say hey i don't like it roughly mm -hmm. uh honestly mm -hmm. <laughs> i invite you all to have a look except for the fact that he forgot to put uh, she was she's the founder of and he forgot to put the name of the mm -hmm. founder of what mm -hmm. but other mm -hmm. than that this article seems to me that the person is notable enough there are, there's an external link. There are several re references and secondary one category. Mm -hmm. For me, there's absolutely no reason it should be removed from the main space. But maybe Sulain will have an opinion on this. But in any cases, this was moved to the draft space. So the draft my, my opinion is that this happens all too often. Um, that that, that articles often. articles that are notable get 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 sent to draft space because we we don't have enough checks and balances against people doing that. Um, and some people like to send things to draft space, to be honest, yep. 
So yeah. well, you can you can move it. Just send it back to main space. You know, fix fix that error and 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 uh, it, you know, I, I, if you see it, if you see an error and you know, it doesn't say what she was the founder of. Well, well, let's let's look at it in terms of what what. Let's look at the history. What why was it sent to draft space? Was a good reason given? So so here he started it right, mm -hmm. okay. mm -hmm. and then somebody moved it. To yep. draft so they 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 gave a a, a canned um, explanation. That's the that's the not was, ready for main space. That's 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 was, not an explanation. Uh, yeah, that was initially in the draft space. Then yep. he moved it to the main space. So he made yep. the the article in the draft space nicely. Then he moved it by himself, and somebody yep. moved it back saying, uh, "Not ready." Not ready. Yeah. yeah, and that's not that's not a reason. So so basically, no reason has been given. Yeah, basically no reason. Um, yeah. No reason. Um, I would say, you know, look at it, uh, fix, fix, fix any obvious problems and, 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 and just move it, move it back to main space. And, 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 and the, I, I would give an edit summary of, okay, no reason given to, to justify this article. At, I was waiting point, for, for James to fix just so she's the founder of, I thought, let's yeah. That. And then we can do two things. Either either we move it back, but the problem is that it may have kept the redirection, in which case it might be a problem. Or we can also try to submit the draft for review. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I I this is this is this is not a wiki, part of Wikipedia. I'm a fan of. Um, yeah. I think uh, if he didn't leave, if he didn't leave a redirect, you should be able to just move it back. Yeah, I don't know. I'm checking, but in any cases, I don't yeah. care. Man, so I can always remove the the. Yeah, I didn't put a leave, so it yeah. can move anytime. Anyway. Yeah, you can you can move it anytime, um, and at that point, you know, he should not. Nobody should move it back again uh, to draft space again, uh, because it's cons that that would be out of form. You know, if 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 somebody objects to uh, draftifying an article, uh, uh, then it's considered. Uh, that the next step is he would he would need to actually get consensus for the deletion. Exactly. Yeah. So yeah. here you see the the page is article for creation, and when you are in article for creation, then you have the box here, and you can click to start a new article, and this will be put in the draft space. Yeah. Right. That's right. I was I was looking for a way to get to that you know get to the article wizard without you know uh, typing in the search bar or. Uh, you know, uh, like how to, how, how to get there navigating from the main page. That's what I was saying. I, I, I don't know. I, I, never... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't it's, know. Somewhere. <laughs> it's, it's somewhere, but uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, I, I mean, for, for everybody watching in horror, like, you know, uh, Anthea and I are both, uh, Florence and I, are both very experienced people. And this is articles for creation is the most baffling part of Wikipedia, it's you know, it is, <laughs> Wikipedia is, is so, you know, it's a hundred times less unfriendly everywhere else. This is, this is a really, um, uh, 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 just its own, its own, its own culture here. Yeah. Yep. So anyway, maybe she's <laughs> close here. Um, uh, I see that James entered again. So James, go fix your article with adding the company, <laughs> the, the name of the organization she funded. Um, okay, great. I think we had an awesome time. I learned quite a lot from you, actually. It was, yeah, very interesting. So uh, big, big applause and big thank you for you. Uh, I, I must tell everyone that actually Sulane, I didn't hunt Sulane, she came. And she volunteered to do that. She proposed to do that. So uh, it's very nice of you. Thank you very much for this. I would also like to thank um, the other organizers of this uh, situation. We had people working. There was Affect, there was Seslaus, there was uh, uh, Clementine, which is somewhere. Uh, so a bunch of people. And I would like also to thank very much the three interpreters. I, I didn't go there, I listened in English, sorry. But uh, thank you to the French, Portuguese, and Arabic translator of this. Um, again, this is recorded. This is not streamed live. So we will um, 
clean up a little bit the, the, the record and then it will be published on the Wiki Africa YouTube channel. And we will share the link on the Africa Environment Meta page and we will share the link on the Telegram channel. So uh, please watch again if, you, if you're interested. We will also post uh, the presentation itself so that you can look in particular at the second, the, the last part about the citation, which is mm -hmm. so important. And um, yeah, I think, did I cover everything? Thank you for all of you to come. Uh, yes, a last word, Sulaine. Uh, thank you so much for organizing. This is really well put together. For um, in terms of brainstorming about future uh, articles and topics to, to write about, I, I think we got that was a really great question about you know we're starting from scratch in Malawi. We'd like to to, to see what kind of topics we can cover. Uh, we'd like to really like to continue that conversation. Uh, so, what would be the right venue for it? Um, uh, I, I, do you have a tel you have a Telegram group, or maybe we could we could brainstorm on on wiki would be best if there's if there's a particular page where we can you know put 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 uh, have a conversation there on on, on a wikipedia sub page i think if you want to set that up and the climate and, change wiki project is probably the best place to do that yeah yeah no. okay um so uh, yes please uh, whoever is interested in you know writing about a particular country please ask a question in, in Wiki Project on the talk page of Wiki Project Climate Change, and then you know I will I will try to uh, engage with you there. That that would be the ideal venue, and maybe some. I hope I hope other people uh, you know we can brainstorm together on that. Okay, so thank you all for coming. Hope this is just the beginning of the conversation. Um, Hope that uh, we we managed to get that uh, the, the the article out of out of the articles for creation space. That, you know, that is really the hardest thing, and I think only the English Wikipedia has this strange articles for creation draft space system. I don't think, I don't think French has it. I think you. No, yeah. we don't. The, English Wikipedia gets like industrial level volumes of spam, and we have this this just uh, articles for creation. It's, it's basically spam filtering at this. A very chaotic world. <laughs> yeah. Yes. All right. Okay. Thank you, everyone. And oh, Swahili has it. Oh my God, you took the worst of the English space. Um, <laughs> thank you, everyone. Uh, see you uh, in a couple of days. And uh, <laughs> good luck, everyone. Thank you, Sulaine. Thanks so much for us. Thanks, everybody.